Hey everyone, Jonathan Gray here with the Empower Network, and this is Loki, completely distracted. What's going on? Um, today, one I wanted to talk to you about was uh, puppies and the risks and viruses that they can contract in the early stages, namely uh, parvo. So, your pup, most people who get puppies from a breeder get them around eight weeks old, and that's when they're able to get their first immunization. Now, the problem with that is just one immunization is not going to prevent them from having issues or um, complications in regards to parvo. So let me first explain how you can get parvo. So parvo comes from a dog coming into contact orally with um, infected feces. So whether that's they're eating some other dog's poop or another dog ate some poop or got their face near some poop and then your dog licked them or they licked you or the bacteria just stayed on their face because they got near it and vice versa. There's a lot of different Inter intertwining little air ways that a dog could have gotten that bacteria or someone stepped in poop and they cleaned their shoe but they didn't do a very good job just scraped it out whatnot there's a lot of different things so the problem I see a lot of times is people have these cute little eight week old puppies and they're parading them around you got all these people petting them and playing with them and they put them down and let them walk around and meet other dogs who want to be social so parvo is really easy to catch and you usually don't see signs of symptoms for about three to four days. And at that point, it's usually pretty advanced. And uh, you'll get things like massive diarrhea, usually with, uh, with blood or some kind of mucus in it, um, profuse vomiting, dehydration, abdominal pain where your dog will just kind of look hunched over with, and depressed and uh, loss of appetite, and there's a lot of different things that go along with it. Um, one of the main problems is a lot of people don't have the money to fix this. I mean, if your dog is an advanced stage of parvo, you're looking at an easy five grand at the vet because a lot of times, or well, really every time, you need IV fluids. You're going to need um, a lot of really serious antibiotic treatment multiple stays overnight at the vet and in some severe cases a plasma or blood infusion so all that wrapped up together is going to be quite the pretty penny so when you think about that you think about the difficulties or inconvenience of keeping your dog inside not walking them for the first couple months using a lot of pee pads it balances out in the way that it's just better to play it safe because that is a problem and a lot of times people don't realize what's happening with their dog until it's almost too late and a lot of dogs just don't survive it. A um, couple things you can do to help with the that vulnerable period. There's um, some products by a company called Amber Technology. One product is called Parvade and the other product is called Vibactra Plus. They're two organic immunity boosters that are sold over the counter. You just give your dog a little drop drop every day and um, that can help. Also, if your dog does contract parvo or you are suspecting that your dog is contracting parvo but you're being a retard and you don't want to take them to the vet yet, um, electrolytes, 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 electrolytes because the diarrhea will dehydrate them as well as the vomiting. But don't be a retard, just take them to the vet. If, you're if your puppy is having massive diarrhea vomiting all over the place there's something very wrong and you need to do something about it immediately because the longer you wait the more likely it's going to be that you're going to spend more money or he's just going to die he or she so do the right thing protect your puppy keep him inside and uh thanks for tuning in all right bye